husband. I left school in July and I'm an apprentice at Review Hairdressers. I decided to do the apprenticeship because I wanted to earn some money as I was working. Lots of my friends went to college and they still had no money. It's like being at school and I wanted to get in touch with the real world, really, working. At school I did a two-day release to South Downs College and I did hair and duty. And so I had a bit of experience there and I just wanted to come into the salon and do an apprenticeship because I thought that's what I wanted to do and that's what I wanted to do. For me, uh, the reason I came to hairdressing was because I did love to create different shapes, styles and form and hairdressing was a great way to do that. Um, anybody who loves fashion, is interested in uh, clothing, music, hairdressing is a fantastic career to be involved with because you start off with uh, something and you end up with a finished look that can be completely different and you have given someone so much more confidence in themselves to sort of live a, a different, if you like, uh, personality and lifestyle. When I was at school, I didn't get um, a great deal above in maths and English. So if I was coming into an apprenticeship now, it would make it a lot harder for me to come into it because you need a C or above to get into it. On a Monday, we do our NVQ Level 2 training and we do one week theory and the rest practical. And we have clients come in and we do like cuts and cuts and work on the block. And on the theory, we do a book work about health and safety and different topics. Being a manager, what I look for within trainees would be um, personality, their commitment, the focus from them, how they bond with the team, how they progress, and their personal um, and individual academic skills. Easy way to impress me when you're in the salon would just be to always watch what's going on around you, always think ahead, what needs doing, when it needs doing. What will Drew or Helen want for their client next? Has that client got a cup of tea? What's tidy? What isn't? And just setting themselves to constantly be on the move and making sure the salon's running. Salon training is a lot more sort of high standard. Um, you can get more one-to-one -one training. The sort of training that you get groups are a lot smaller. Uh, we have a full day training once a week, morning till the afternoon. Um, theory units following the MVQ. They, they have their um, note taking, we go through all the background essential knowledge to every unit throughout the MBQ. Um, there's revision, um, they can do a lot at home, we use computers, tests are online, um, just the same as you would in a college, but it's all done in one place. In my training I really enjoyed learning new things and keeping up to date and also working with the clients which is the best part about it. After being a stylist for a year, I got promoted up to senior stylist and from then on, every year or year and a half, I continued to be promoted up to the list until I was salon director. We socialise quite a bit. We go out to work, um, meals and birthday outings and a Christmas do every year. It feels better that you have the salon experience um, as opposed to college because you get to be more hands-on. Um, I feel you learn a lot by watching people. Working at review, you obviously do get paid. Um, as an apprentice and obviously when you get offered a job um, which meant that I could buy my own car and now I've just recently back to my first house as well. So, yeah, living life. To go to the Waterloo Academy, or the you, you cannot go wrong.